it out, yucky pants. Yeah. They're not all yucky, right? Yeah. Hey guys, Lacey here with Amelia, and we're just gonna get right into this. We are canning pears today, so let's get this done because we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> So now I know that these buckets look a little rough, uh, but when someone asks you if you want pears, I have learned not to hesitate and just say yes. So this guy knew that we had a lot of kids and he knew that we had pigs and chickens. And so in giving us these buckets, he knew nothing was gonna go to waste either way. And so now I'm just trying to salvage what I can before tossing them out to my animals. So when you can pears, it's not necessary to peel them, but my family just prefers them to be peeled. And there are several ways to do this. Number one, you can take a knife in your hand and just peel them. Number two is one of those uh, apple peelers, which we do not have. And then the third one is supposed to be super easy, super quick and super fast. And we tried that. We dipped our pears in hot water for 20 to 30 seconds and then the cool water pot and the skins did not fall off. Apparently our pears are way too hard to do this. So we turned on some deer hunting shows just to pass the time peeling pears. <laughs> I don't get too fancy with my syrup. I just keep it simple with three parts water to one part sugar and then add a splash of vanilla. You certainly can just put half slices in the jar and be done with this step, but I have small kids and dicing them now just helps me out for the future. I just open a can and it's ready to go. So I'm cramming as many pears as I can into each jar just so I can maximize my space in my pantry. After adding my liquid, I wanna make sure that I have a half inch gap at the top and pack in my pears as tightly as I can. You don't wanna to forget to wipe off the rim of your jar just because that syrup is really sticky and actually can cause you to not have a seal at all. So you wanna make sure you get that and then process your jars in a water bath for about 25 minutes for quarts and 20 for pints. All seven jars, all sealed, don't have to do anything with them other than put them in my pantry. And I think, I need to request more shelving because I'm running out of space and I have not even, like I'm not done with the bucket out there. I've made like a decent dent, but try as I might, I'm gonna get these all done before they go bad and I have to feed them to the pigs and the chickens. But anyway, thanks for joining me as I stock my pantry. I hope you are encouraged to do the same. And now I have to go milk my goats before we run out of daylight. So we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. See ya. That's our milking parlor back there. Uh, hopefully we will get our barn completed before it gets too cold.